if you have a belt sander use it what we're going to do now is just clean off the rough cut you can see where the wadding actually stops you you want to have at least three thirty seconds to a sixteenth of an inch of uh, the actual casing itself intact but you want to clean this off it's going to facilitate you know smoother action in um, and feeding is the entire thing right there so bear with me Process, clean the birds off, inspect it. I could use a little bit more off of this shoulder right here. Shoulder, I reckon that's the terminology I'm going to use. But uh, I want to find the lowest point from the wadding to the tip and bring everything down to match that just make sure that I have a, a minimum of 16 inch uh, 16th of an inch okay do now can you see that a little bit of flash right there don't let that fool you about a sixteenth of an inch over let me see a sixteenth of an inch over the very tip of the wadding now what I want to do is come back lay it here bevel the the face of it because if you leave that flare on there it could cause issues, uh, reliability issues. Well, it's pretty self-explanatory if you know anything about firearms. But you want to have that rounded off smooth. So. what we're looking for. Looks dirty right now. Come back with the knife and just trim all that flashing off of it. Clean it up. Nobody ever said it. reloading was fast, easy. When you figure all the time up, even, you know, something like this. <laughs> oh yeah, we can make some wax slugs, man. It's still going to take you time if you're going to do it right. And you want to do it right. You don't want to, especially with a shotgun, um, you don't want something blowing up in your face. Okay, i got a few more to go here. <laughs> and I'll be back with the next part. Later.